All right, so let's go to Long Beach now. They have nearly 200 confirmed cases of coronavirus, and they're preparing for many more. As KCAL 9's Lori Perez shows us, the city's most famous landmark could become a lifesaver in the fight against the virus. Community leaders across the country are scrambling to figure out how and where to care for a crush of COVID-19 patients. They're having to come up with all sorts of creative ideas. Here in Long Beach, one idea that's piquing a lot of interest is the option of using the Queen Mary as part of the city's response. Yes, it's a historical moment, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be an outstanding idea. We need whatever help we can get. Residents we spoke with were pleasantly surprised at the idea of using Long Beach's iconic ocean liner in the city's COVID-19 response. Officials have not confirmed if or how the Queen Mary might be used, only releasing a statement Friday saying the city is coordinating plans to ensure we remain prepared. The Queen Mary remains in consideration and we will have a plan to announce in the future. It would presumably be used as an overflow medical facility for non-infected patients. On its website, Urban Commons, the real estate firm that runs the ship, says it has 347 rooms and 80,000 square feet of meeting space, which could be valuable as the city's cases grow, straining local hospitals. Saturday, the mayor said on social media, the city has 198 confirmed cases and three COVID-related deaths. He posted this picture of the Long Beach Convention Center, which is being converted into a 100-bed hospital. He listed other new facilities, including a clinic at Long Beach City College, where city officials have said a no-cost drive-through rapid assessment clinic will open next week. Long Beach, like other cities, is preparing for the worst, while its residents are hoping for the best. I'm very concerned, absolutely. The Queen Mary has been called into service before. On the hotel website, it says during World War II, the ship was transformed into a troop ship capable of transporting as many as 16,000 troops. In Long Beach, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.